All right, so we're back again. Listen, I'm, I'm just going to cut right to the chase. Yesterday, we probably got to the episode of this series that I've been looking forward to the most. We were playing I Zombie Endless. We did it Wolfie and Chill. It was great. And I, it, I've, I've got to be honest with you, it was a piss poor attempt. I waited so long for the chance to do I Zombie Endless, and I made it to wave three. And quite frankly, do you know what? I've decided after all of four and a half seconds of deliberation that it's just, it's not good enough. I'm going to do it again. We're doing Wolfie and Chill two days in a row. This, this has never happened before. We're going to try I Zombie Endless a second time and there was actually there was a teeny teeny tiny tiny little nugget of information that i hadn't quite picked up on when i played it the first time which was that your son actually carries over between rounds and armed with this speck of information i went back and i tried it again and i got to wave 16. might have been useful to pick up on that the first time round, but we're going to try this again we're going to do eyes zombie endless listen Saddle up, get yourself a drink. I don't know how long this video is about to be. We we could be here a while, so just settle in. You want to go and make yourself a tea? Pause the video, go do that shit now. And make sure you like the video if you enjoy it. This one, this 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 one could be going on for a while. Subscribe if you're new around here. We're trying to hit 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Join the Wolf Pack, become part of the revolution once again. I zombie endless. Let's give this another go. So, what I have to think about is pretty much just conservation. I have to just use as little sun as possible to get through each level. So I'm having a look at this one. I'm immediately seeing four sunflowers bottom row there, but I don't necessarily want to... I don't necessarily want to send a miner in there straight away. I could... I, I, do you know what? Actually, I think I can send a... I think I can send a cone head because I think the angle that the star fruit is at, I don't think it's actually going to be able to hit me. The star fruit's a really weird one. It sort of attacks, like, in a kind of pentagon formation. So attacking it from directly from the right-hand side, I don't think it can actually get to me. So I think I've got that lane pretty much for free. But the idea is we want to get through these early waves. We want to use as little sun as possible. The kind of difficulty scale with this is as you get further and further, they give you less and less sunflowers. So you kind of have to play it smarter and smarter as you go. So we got that lane. That's nice. What are we thinking next? I also wasn't really uh, picking up on how useful some of these other zombies are. I've been told that Ladder Zombie is basically... He's effectively a screen door zombie, which is really good because that means he's resistant to Ice P, who was becoming a professional grade A triple S tier pain in my ass. And Pole Vaulter is also really useful as well if there are certain plants that I need to get to to kill quickly. In fact, you know, I'll tell you what, I'm going to use... Am I going? In fact, you know, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I'm going to put a cone head there. He's only got to take fire from the three Peter. That should be okay. And then the good thing about that is he can hopefully take out the magnet shroom while he's there as well. And once he's done that, I could probably send a miner top lane. I can't really send miners in these two lanes because having Chomper on the back row, just it, do it doesn't really work that way. Uh, so that's fine. We could go ahead. In fact, no, I'll tell you what I'm going to do before I do that. I do probably want to think about taking out that uh, repeater, uh, three peer. sorry, don't I? Yeah, so I'll tell you what, we'll just play another cone head. I was considering playing a pole vault, but it didn't occur to me that he was going to set off the potato mine, so... Duh. But yeah, like I said, settle in. This one, this could be a long one. I sat here last night and I did wave 16, and I, feel, I was sat here for well over an hour, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know how long this one's going to be, but... This could be, uh, this could be one of my longest videos yet. Just want to get rid of this 3 Peter. We're going to be able to get rid of it, right? Or is he actually, like, too far away? No, we're okay. We're okay. That's fine. So, this is where I probably send the miner in this lane now. And I've got to think about how I'm going to tackle these lanes here. It shouldn't be that bad. What's interesting is we've got the ice pea with the torchwood. I think what happens there is when the ice pea shoots through the torchwood, it just turns it into, like, a normal pea. I think that's how that works, but I'm not 100% sure. I... Hmm. It's the best way to handle this, though. I could play pole vault or just jump straight over the kernel pole. Nice. 
Uh, but then at the same time, I feel like I kind of just want to... I do kind of want to just take that out. I'll tell you what, I'm going to play a little bit safe. I'm just going to go, like, bucket head there. That's what I'm saying. Just to kind of make sure that he can he can tank the damage. Of course, I get smacked with butter straight away. I hate Colonel Pult after playing this. It's obviously, like, there's a certain percentage chance of him flinging butter at you. And I swear down, I get so unlucky with it sometimes. Oh, we can play an Imp in that top lane now. He should be fine. I'll just wait for him to... I'll tell you what I'm actually going to do. I'm playing Pole Volta right behind him. Because what can happen there... Chomper eats him. He can vault over the Ice P. And he can take the Chomper and take the Brain. Then I don't have to worry about that lane anymore. That's fine. We could probably do something similar in this lane. Let's play an Imp there. His ass out. Uh, then we want to play... Yeah, we'll go ahead and just play a, a, a cone head there. That's fine. So we've done alright out of this one. We're going to end it on... It'll probably be a bit less than a thousand sun. Because whatever the weather... In fact, I'll tell you what I could do. I could send an imp right now. And he might just kind of get there before... Yeah, he's going to get there first. So the chomp is actually going to eat the imp. That's ideal. Conehead can take him out. So we're going to end on just under a thousand sun for this first round. That's not bad. That's quite good. There are like certain types of waves that you get in this that sort of will come up repeatedly. The ones that we want, there's a really, really good wave that you can get where it's basically the whole thing is just scaredy shrooms and sunflowers. They're the ones that we want. They are the holy grail. This is not the holy grail. In fact, these are the ones that I hate the most. These are all like chompers and potato mines. Oh, I hate these ones. Oh, these ones... These ones suck so much, they make me choke up. Hold on. Uh, let's have a think. Gonna have to use some pole vaulters here, for sure. For sure, we're gonna have to use some pole vaulters. Where do I even start on this one? Honestly, where do I even start? Oh, I really didn't want to be dealing with one of these this early on. That's the thing. Bloody good question. See, the problem is I'm gonna have to, like... Here's what I can do. We're going to have to just play some imps here and just get rid of these potato mines. Like, there really is no other way around it. These ones just, they make you spend more. So I'm going to have to send imp one, imp two, imp three. So that's those two lanes dealt with. That's fine. I don't really see how else I could have done that. I mean, I guess maybe these are the ones where... In fact, I'm going to run a little experiment for this. I'm going to run a little experiment. I'm going to try playing Disco Zombie for this one. I feel like maybe this could be the kind of level where Disco Zombie is quite useful. In fact, let me play Disco Zombie like right there. I never really... He's like the one card that I never really kind of play. I just never really found a use for him, but I've always wanted to kind of try him out on one of these waves, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's just send an imp to set off that potato mine. That's it. No, we should be okay. I don't need to play anything. Spawn another one. Come on, Disco. Spawn another one. That's it. There you go. Honestly, this has actually ended up being a pretty good shout. Like, he's actually handling this quite nicely. Okay, so like we've we figured it out. I think we've actually sussed out a use for Disco Zombie. That's a relief. Whew. Yeah, for those of you who don't like the uh, the long videos that I do, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not overly keen on them myself, but I just waited so long to do Eye Zombie Endless. I didn't want to leave it the way I did. I mean, I kind of sort of said to myself I'd end up playing it more than once anyway. But certainly, like Wave Three, I uploaded that video, and then within about half an hour, and after looking at some of the comments, it then occurred to me like. Yeah, I, I I fucked this one up, didn't I? I didn't really do this justice. So, we got 1,500. We did good. Okay, so Disco Zombie is definitely the play when it comes to these ones. That's good, because these are my least favorite ones. Give me one of them scaredy shroom waves, because you just... They, that If you get a scaredy shroom wave, that's basically the game. Just saying, here you go, have a shit ton of free sun. No, these ones are... So, this is a fume shroom, magnet shroom. These ones, I'm pretty sure you just kind of... 
you just play cone heads for this one, really. This this basically is going, don't even think about using anything that uses any kind of metal. But cone heads can get you through this one quite nicely, so we'll do it that way. Probably we'll have to play a bucket head in this top lane. Oh. What, what, what did I say 10 seconds ago? Don't think about any using anything that uses metal. What a dickhead. What an absolute spanner. Okay, so I wasted that. That was... Think about it, you tart. Wait for top middle. Okay, now we can play the bucket head. Now that magnet shroom's gone. Think about it, you idiot. I have to play another one there. It's okay. We still get a positive return on it as long as this bucket head survives. So we're not only worse off because of this. I don't think I'm going to get as far as wave 16. I feel like I will. this video will just go until I lose. Because I, I do just want to see how far I can get. I don't think I'll make it as far as wave 16 again. I did get quite lucky. Because it is a little bit, you know, obviously you can... There are certain strategies to deal with certain waves. But, you know, some are more expensive to deal with than others. So it is a little bit luck of the draw. Like which waves they kind of throw at you. And on my wave 16 run, I did get very lucky. So... But that's, we're up to three, so we've already equaled our best from last time. And this is split P four days. So this is where we want to be using Ladder Zombie. Send him top lane. He is so clutch. Because he's holding a ladder, it basically means the Ice Peas can't slow him down. So he basically functions as a screen door, except he's like twice as quick. So that is nice. Uh, I'm going to play another one here, actually. I'd like to think he's close enough to that Ice Pea that he can just kind of take it. Uh, yeah, just keep doing more of them, basically. Yeah, he should be alright. I'm just going to make sure you pick up that sun, because you're going to see as we go through this, that just gradually less and less sunflowers are going to be appearing. Less and less. Also, I don't know if there's much point in me pointing this out right now because it's likely that at the time you're watching this, this has already passed, but uh, if you become a member of the channel, I actually do members exclusive live streams. I don't live stream that much anymore, but I do members live streams. We call them Big Dog Hangouts. Uh, we do them every month. I'm actually doing one tonight, like on the day that I'm recording this. And we're playing some Legends, you know, that game that I'm supposed to be playing on the second channel, but never really get around to it. We can... One of the... Two of them are repeaters. That kind of makes me... Do you know what that makes me want to do? That makes me want to play All-Star. That's what I want to do. I don't know if that is going to be the premium play. I'd like to think All-Star can do this. I'm going to have to play a ladder in this lower one because there's an ice piece, so... Anytime there's an ice pea, like, ladder's just essential, basically. And then he has two repeaters there. In fact, no, 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 no. I'll tell you what the play is here. Now the split pea's gone from that lane. Get a miner. Get a miner. He can take that, and then I'll send an imp to get the brain. Okay. So we are at least guaranteed to get further than we did last time. See, this is what you got to do. Just as little sun as possible. I don't know how I wasn't getting this last time. Because I was like, I was going on to new waves. And I was thinking, like, oh, it felt like I was just getting started with a random amount of sun. I don't know how it never occurred to me. But I'd be on, like, wave one. There's, like, one little, uh, there's, like, one little puff shroom left. And I'm like, yeah, let's just play ten all-stars. All right, go ahead. 1900, not bad. This has been a good start, actually. thing is i don't even know what's considered like a good wave to get to on this what is actually considered like a good wave to get to for i zombie i think the best i managed on the best i managed on vase breaker was like four that one's really weird like uh we definitely have to deal with this top lane like straight up yeah I'm going to drop that guy there, so he can just deal with that. Right. 
Do you know, actually, I've had a change of heart. I'm going to play Buckethead there. I was thinking of playing, uh, of playing Conehead, but... Upon further deliberation, I've, uh, I've decided against it. I think Buckethead will be probably the safer play. Things we've got four spike weeds in this top middle lane. Like, what on earth is going to be the deal there? He's going to get through that no problem. Like, I'm not even not even worried about that. Uh, we'll go Conehead, Conehead. And let's just see if we can sort of clear some of the rest of these out. I could probably play one there now. Get the sun, get the sun. Very important, very important. Mm, yeah, let's play a cone head and see if he can get through four spike weeds. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't want to have to play. Uh, I don't want to have to play a bucket head just to get through that. It should be okay, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. But I'm, yeah, we're gonna be on like 22:50. Going to the next one. <sighs> we'll sit by my This tea's gonna be cold by the end of the video, I can guarantee you. It's at like that perfect drinking temperature now, so I just need to kind of bear that in mind. I lost a coin, damn it. Oh, come on, get that. Oh, good. He just got that. Right, we're up to five. If I can get to at least ten, I'll be happy with that. It's another split P1. Okay, so that's gonna be uh more s more screen doors, more ladder doors. That's gonna be one. No ladder door, hoard door. Yeah, let's go. Let's get this one. I'll tell you what I can do. Actually, get a minor. Do I play a ladder zombie in bottom middle? I'm. I don't know. I'm on the fence. To be completely honest with you. In the interest of playing it safe, I'm going to play Miner. Uh, we'll play another ladder there. We'll play a ladder there. And we'll see how we go with that. We want a cone head up there. And we'll see how we go with that. The good thing is I don't have to worry about these bottom two lanes. It's just because they dunk split peas everywhere. Which is not very pog. Tell you what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to put Pole Vaulter in this lane. Make life a little bit easier. Just go yoink, boing, over that. Honestly, the Puff Shroom is so small. Like, why even Pole Vault? That's what pisses me off. You could, you could just hurdle that and then Pole Vault the other one. Like, think about it. I know you're a zombie, so you're supposed to be like, Ugh, brains, but like, seriously. Puff Shroom's about the size of my brain. Alright, so we can do two imps. Up to six. Didn't have to use too much there. I want one of the scaredy shroom waves. Come on, man. Help a brother out. Give him a give him a scaredy shroom wave. Because those ones are so easy. Nope. Oh god. Oh, these ones are on some next level. Hold on. Hold up. Let me think. I don't like that top lane. I, I really don't like that top lane. That is, that's disgusting. Uh, he's got one of these. I uh, finally sussed out what the, uh, what the, the mint leaf umbrella thing does. It basically, it curbs your bungee. But I don't know how close it has to be to do that. I don't know if it has to be adjacent space to do that. Because if it's not... I'm going to play... I'm going to run an experiment here. Can I bungee this thing? Yes, I can. Okay, so it has to be an adjacent space for him to actually... To stop it. Okay, well, that's fine. So that's kind of just pointless then. Uh, if that's the case, then we can just play... We can play Conehead there. He can have that lane for free. That's cool. Um... My first play is actually going to be to... I'm going to pole vault this lane just to get rid of that repeater real quick. That's going to be first port call. We like that. Good. Um, I 
I could actually minor this lane. And I could also minor this lane. And maybe I... I tell you what, I'm not going to all-star that lane. I'm going to buckethead this lane. I feel like all-starring it's a bit unnecessary. And then we ladder this one. I could have actually... I could oh, I could have minored that one. I don't know why I didn't minor that one. That was a... That was a certified Cameron Gaming moment. Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't just minor that. That was so stupid. No. Mm. Well done. Let me just do that, because we're still trying to conserve here, so. There you go. That's fine. Play the imp, play the imp. Alright. So, mm, I had to expend quite a lot there. We, we've depleted the funds somewhat. It's alright. We're now twice as far as we made it last time. That's how bad I did last time. Kill him. Well played. Good stuff. It's at the perfect temperature. Don't let it go to waste. Do you ever find this? If you're a tea drinker such as myself, I wanna know I wanna actually know the science behind this. You ever find like tea gradually loses temperature, like it gradually like plummets, and it gets to that perfect drinking temperature. And then you take the first sip. And then after that, for some reason, like, something chemically makes it so that once you take that first sip, then the temperature just goes... I don't know why. There's got to be a scientific explanation behind it. Like, there has to be. Uh, let me think. What can we do about this? Well, first thing we have to do is bungee that. We can bungee that, and then... I think... That star fruit is bothering me a little bit. I don't like that being there. We're going to have to give it a go. Let's try and minor this middle lane. I just hope that star fruit isn't going to kill him. I could have done with the star fruit being in the back row. That would have made me a slightly happier bunny. No, I'll just have to be content bunny. Come on. Come on. I have faith. I have faith. You can take him out. You can take him out. Come on. Do it for the wolf pack. Legend. Absolute Chad. Okay. That makes life a whole lot easier, to be fair. Right. What, we th what the hell are we thinking for this top lane? What are we going to do about that? Hmm. Long question. We'll have to mine at the bottom lane as well. We've just got to do that as and when we can. Anytime we can mine a lane, we, we seize it. What do I do about the top lane, though? What do we do about that? I feel like... I don't know. Somehow, Miner in the middle lane managed to actually... Wait, does the... Does the... Does the Leaf Umbrella thing actually defend himself, or what? Let me, let me just, like... Let me try and imp him real quick. No, I don't know how he died then. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he bled out from losing his arm. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Let's just focus on taking these lanes, and then we can kind of, we can just focus all of our efforts on that top lane, in in as little for as little cost as possible. All right. So what are we going to do about this? I feel like maybe I imp to set that off, and then. I'm thinking, do you know what I could do? I could I could double pole vault it. Hear me out, hear me out. So what I'm thinking is I pole vault over the puff shroom that is easily a size where you could just step over it, but we're not gonna talk about that. He does that, then squash is gonna kill his ass. I'm gonna pole vault preemptively, and then he should be able to take split P out and he can take okay, fine. So we're on five fifty. You know, game if you uh if you wanna throw me one of those uh one of those scaredy shroom waves. I wouldn't be. Uh... I mean, look, I'm, I ain't, I ain't saying nothing about nothing. I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say no. You want. You wanted to shoot one of those my way. I would owe you a hand job. So just, just, just keep that in mind. 
It might be worth your while. Scary Shroom Wave. Damn it. Um, oh, it's another one of these ones. Boy. Well, let me think. The good thing is we're going to have an easy time with some of these top lanes. Kind of. Certainly top middle. Well, I think definitely the first thing we do is we mine the middle. I'm going to play... Imp. Imp. He's not actually going to make it to the potato mine. And that's fine. No, I didn't think so. It's fine. I can pole vault that. That's cool. Just need to be getting some sun. Come on. I just want to make it to 10. We've actually we've been kind of motoring through this quite quickly. I think maybe when I was doing my... Maybe when I was doing it last time, I was sitting deliberating on it for so long. Just got to think about how we're going to do the rest of these waves. The good thing is, I feel like I could probably send an imp in the bottom lane, and I can probably set both of these off. Yeah, good, good. So we've sort of spooged both of those straight away. No, I can't really do that. I want to play... Ooh, nah, think, 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 Cam, think. Think about it. Think about it. Can't do that. Puff shrooms. Whichever way I whichever way I flip it, I'm gonna have to either get rid of this chomper in top lane or I'm gonna have to get rid of the potato mine. I can't just bypass both of them. So methinks. Methinks. We'll send that. God, potato mines are the worst in this. Use your loaf, Cam. Use your loaf. That's not actually what I meant to do. Well, we might as well just do this now. I actually, I, I meant to play the... I meant to play the cone head first, but whatever. I was going to have to play something else either way, so it doesn't really make too much difference. Uh, let me think. I think if I cone head that, I could probably get that potato mine. Mm -hmm. He can suck that off. That was my attempt at saying set off in New Zealand. I wasn't saying he should suck it off or anything. You gonna be alright up there, brown coat? You good? You good? Yeah, you're fine. So I'm saying we we cone head that. I just all I need him to do is just take out that first fume shroom. That's all I need. That's all I need. Come on, just take that out. Take that out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on now. You got it. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Good lad. There you go. I knew you had it in you. So now, this is where we pole vault it. And he can just vault straight over that potato mine. Take the fume shroom, take the brain. Bob's your uncle. There you go. Have at it. We'll do this. That's it. Wait. Chomper's about to activate. Send the pole vaulter. Yes, sir. Over that. Take the chomper. Take the puff shroom. Take the brain. We're going to nine. I just want to make it to ten. Come on. Just want to make it to ten. Bon job, sir. Oh, give me that, give me that, give me that. Thank you. Need my money, otherwise the comments will scream at me. Puff Shroom! I was getting so many of these last time, I'm getting none now. But I have to try and make it through this wave. For the love of all that is holy. 
tell you what I do like. I like that I can wipe these two out straight away. I'm going to seize that opportunity with both arms. Both hands. Let me think. For sure. For absolute sure. Send that guy. I'm going to make a bit of an interesting play right here. Just hear me out. I'm going to play Ladder Zombie. Just because... I feel like if I played a Conehead, he would probably be stuck trying to take the Johnny out for too long. So this way he can kind of just get straight over and just deal with that. Come on, I so want to make it past this one. So want to make it past this one. That's fine. I'm fairly confident. Uh, a Brown Court can get past that. Right. Lesby Avenue. I'll deal with the three P uh, before I do anything else in that. Middle lane. Now. What's the best way to handle this? Do we... It doesn't really make much difference. We could bucket head it. We could... In fact, no, we're going to bucket head it. That's better than minoring it because... If I minor, then I have to play something else to go and take the brain. And we don't want that. But do I trust that an imp can take the Colonel Pole? That's that's the big question. That is the big question of the day. That is the big question of the day. In fact, comment down below right now. Am I going to get it? Am I getting it? I'm not even going to give you a chance. Because before you're done typing the comment, I'm going to have tried it. Go! I, I, I messed up. He did do it. Okay. Well, if you just about made it down to the comments in time to comment yes, then congratulations. You win nothing. You win some pride and honor. And like a quarter of an inch. Uh, we'll just... Do that. And then all I have to contend with is the top lane. I feel like I could do. My plan is going to be we're going to play ladder there. I might just barely have enough to get through this wave. I might just barely have enough. Okay. Now we send the imp. Go on, imp. Go on, imp. You got this. You got this. Take the sunflower. Take the chomper. Take the brain. Let's go. Good. Now I can send Nymph there. We made it to 10! Come on! Made it to 10 with no scaredy shroom waves. That is a uh, that is an achievement with which I'm delighted. Personally speaking. Bit better than yesterday, wasn't it? Now they're going to give me one. No, they're, <laughs> they're, ab they're absolutely determined. Okay, well, there's no way I'm getting through this. I think 10 is probably where it stops. But you know what? It's been a good run. It's been a good run, all things considered. I'm happy with this. Um, yeah, man, like, I've got 250 sun. They've only given me three sunflowers. It's a little bit like... It's a bit like, yeah, you know, what do you, what, what do, you do? Uh, I mean... Yeah, we could just bungee that. Go ahead. Tell you what I can do, actually. I can, I can pole vault over that chomper. Pole vault over that chomper and just get that sunflower, I guess. I'll let him do that because I can't really do anything else until he's done that. So <laughs> I'm not getting through this wave, but I'm happy with the run. So, lads, if you've enjoyed it, if you thought this has been just at least a smidgen better than yesterday, make sure you hit the like button, man. And like I said, we're trying to hit 300k by the end of the year. Very ambitious. Possibly too ambitious, but then that's that's me in a nutshell. I'm way too ambitious. So if you want to help us get there, hit the subscribe button, join the Wolfpack.
We're back up to 250 sun. 250 sun. What could I? What the hell could I do with that? What could I do with that? Mm, not a whole lot, really. I don't know why I'm sitting here trying to figure out ways that I can win this, because there's just no way. Alright, mine of that lane. I'll see how far I can get, though. I'll see how far I can get. Vault him again. Go and get the brain. Brains! We probably want to minor this lane as well. Get rid of the star fruit. Get rid of its star fruit. And then I could probably imp this lane here. Star fruit, gone. There you go. Imagine if I pulled this off somehow. What kind of a miracle would that be? Thing is, even if I'm able to clear all the lanes, I won't be able to get the brains as well. I mean, yeah, no. I'm officially spent in terms of sunflowers. I feel like a bucket head will get through that. Bucket head should get through that. I'd like to think anyway. In that lane. My goodness, boys. What a valiant effort it has been. We actually weren't that far away from getting to the end of this one. We damn near almost made it to 11. So close. So close. What a shame. Do you reckon two imps could get through that? I mean, I'm... I'm I think it's doable. Instantly buttered. And again. God. Yeah. This is the end of the line, boys. Down goes the last one. And there you have it. We made it to a streak of 10. I think, all things considered, that's not that bad. That's not actually that bad. There you go. That was uh, that was the, I'm going to call that the PVZ redemption arc. The iZombie redemption arc. I, I had to come back and give this another try. Yesterday was just unacceptable. And I apologize from the bottom of my heart that you had to sit and bear witness to such an atrocity but regardless that's going to be it for this one it actually didn't go on as long as i thought but anyways i hope you enjoyed it this has been wolfie and chill two days in a row don't worry we'll get back to normal videos now if you have enjoyed it and you want to see more of these in the future make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you're new around here and i'll see you next time